wow, we should switch from municipal taxation for housing to provincial taxation for housing to federal taxation. It's all our money. Who cares whether federal, provincial, or municipal? It's all our money we're paying. You think switching who's taxing us is going to cut back on the money? Wow. So, sorry, if you don't want to look into monetary reform, you just got to sit there and expect more of that. Stand up now. There's a lot of action at this end of the table, by the way. <laughs> Said it best. He said, you don't really want jobs. You really want jobs? Take out the bulldozer and put in 50 guys with shovels. You want more jobs? Take away the shovels, give them spoons. So do you want the jobs or the paychecks? Well, every time they're talking about attracting jobs, they mean attracting paychecks. Every time I talk about creating money, What's that? I'm talking about creating paychecks, which is creating jobs. They never talk about where the money's going to come from. They're just in favor of jobs. Yep. But you can't have a job without a paycheck. You need the paycheck to have a job. So you gotta focus on where's the money gonna come from. And they admit they ain't got any. They don't know where money comes from now. They think it's a big piggy bank up there, gold or something. They don't realize banks create brand new money when they make loans. You gotta go check my bank math. As the only banking systems engineer on the planet, I came up with the equations proving that banks create money when they make loans just like poker chips. So you're not borrowing somebody else's savings when you get a loan. You're borrowing new chips and paying interest on it. But as for green jobs versus ordinary jobs, hey, since climate gate, hey, burn the coal, plant more trees, burn the coal, plant more trees. They've been lying to us about our effect on the environment. It's negligible which means all the catastrophic taxes we were going to have to pay, we won't have to anymore. Climate gate is the greatest thing that's happened to our economy this century, for sure. To find out that all those dangers we were going to have to pay for are all lies. And what an exquisite lie it was. How come climate gate, you search ABC, CBS, ABC, no hits. 10 million on Google, but none of the press. They just buried it. Well, that's because they got no excuse now for all the high energy taxes. They can lower gasoline taxes. I want cheaper gas. <laughs> circulation and at the end of the year he's got to tax it out with interest to bring back to the bank. Now you could borrow a million Toronto dollars, spend it doing the same thing, tax it out at the end of the year, no interest, pay it back to the Toronto dollar bank. So that's what the Argentinian provinces did. Instead of bringing their bond to the bank to get bills, spend it, tax it up with interest, they printed small denomination provincial bonds, spent them, taxed them out with no interest, and had enough to put everybody back to work. And that's what I want to do too. <clears throat> so the last two questions were, 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 were. Well, I got my education through a student ball in Terrace Free in my days, and I appreciate it. And I'll pay my tax for army and police to handle strife. I'll pay my tax for doctors and nurses who protect my life. I'll pay my tax for all engaged repairing road and sewer. I'll pay my tax for social servants helping out the poor. I'll even pay my tax for bureaucrats with no regret. I only object to paying tax for interest on debt. So I don't mind paying tax for people's time and useful toil, but paying tax for money's time will always make me boil. So now, here's what I would offer you. I would let you log on to the Bank of Canada's computer like PayPal, <coughs> open an account with this bank that doesn't have depositors, like the Royal or the TV, and they don't have to charge any interest because they're going to lend you checks. They got no deposits, one interest. So you cut checks with your Bank of Canada account, pay off all your mortgages and interest-bearing debts, and after that, all your payments to the Bank of Canada go against principal. And that way, everybody someday gets out of debt. 
because it's only interest that keeps people in debt slavery forever. So we reprogrammed the Bank of Canada's computer to operate like PayPal with no interest, permit ourselves to convince our, convert our interest-bearing debts to interest-free, and turn the planet from the hell that it is right now, described it tonight, to a heaven of abundance and enough money. Not supporting me. And just to the gentleman who is the, the engineer, if your chip things works out, I would what? if your chip program works out. Interest free software. Yeah. yeah, I would like a Ferrari California. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got not enough. Everybody's got to shave corners. The guy who can dump the poisons down the sewer and doesn't have to pay a high expense for disposal survives his mortgage death gamble. Mortgage means death gamble in French. Everybody borrows in 10, everybody owes 11, somebody gets knocked out of the game. Well, before some people get knocked out of the game, they're going to take their cheap way out. And that means that cutting corners is always going to be a function of our society as long as we have a permanent shortage of money by demanding the repayment of principal plus interest when we all only ever got the principal. <laughs> The revolution is passing you by. You're going to continue suffering, and it's of your own choice. In Africa, where they don't have any banks, they can't afford banks. You know what they do when they want to pay something? Their phone companies let them transfer mobile phone minutes from one account to another. So if you want to send money home to the village, you transfer money to the village grocer on your cell phone, he'll give your mama some milk. In Arabia, they're paying themselves with telephone cards as currency. People who don't have bank accounts. Of course, you're still rich enough to be able to have bank accounts and be loan sharked and blood sucked by the banks. But poor people who can't afford a bank account to be blood sucked by the banks, they're using alternate currencies. Phone minutes. This is real currency. And every time you hear of a big barter deal between two countries, banks are getting no interest. Every time someone passes one of these instead of a dollar bill, banks getting no interest. Every time they do a barter transaction on the internet, banks getting no interest. And I'm the only person who's reporting the good news. The rest of the world, it's dire hell coming. Mean good news! Banks are losing their interest! I'm counting it! And I'm loving it! So you go to my Facebook site, Facebook John Dr. Mel, and you'll see my work. It's every time I see some big deal where the banks ain't getting no interest, I grab it and I publish it. So, there's a revolution happening. Unfortunately, you're too rich. You're still connected to the long shark blood suck machine. And as long as you are, you're not going to appreciate what it's like having to switch to something else. Gee, we're not going to use phone cards. That's silly. That's plastic. We use gold. Well, no, we don't. We use paper. Well, guess what? Third world have got phones that let them trade their credits around. Why do you think we don't? Why do you think TELUS doesn't give you a chance to use phone credits? Because they got you connected to the Lone Shark Blood Sucker Machine, rich suckers. <laughs> Hard to follow up.